What is poppin' everybody? Welcome on back to the WVE. It is season 2, baby. I'm so excited to get back into it. And I'm not even prepared to go ahead and take on Patters. <laughs> What's poppin' everybody? Guys, make sure to go ahead and show some love to the thumbs up button if you guys are excited for the return of WVE. So this week, we are going ahead and going up against Patters. I'm so, so nervous because Patters, my track record... Against Patters isn't the best. It really isn't the best. The past two times that we battled, the three times that we battled, he's won. So, I'm really not looking forward to this. So, let me go ahead and jot down his mons real quick. So, he's got a Kek Leon. He's got the Krygon. He's got the Ven Usar. Crook. Uh, slow, bro. And the Re Bomb. Alright, so I do like to keep track of the mons that he's bringing. I like to write down all the moves and stuff like that so we know what we're doing here. So, what is he going to start off with? Possibly the Crook I could see coming out. Get those uh, get those stones up. He also has the Kecleon that can set up stones as well. Um, I doubt the Venusaur will come out first. I really doubt that. Even Rabombi could possibly come out to get the Sticky Webs up first. So that's something that I, I really don't want to see happen immediately. Now, Togepex could be a good start, uh, like a good start off. Um, I know even my Decidueye can take a hit from the Crook because it is running the Berry on it. Um, question is, is just do I want to really, uh, do I want to take that risk? I guess I could do. I got the Sugar Berry on it. We're fine with Gucci. We're gonna start off with Peekaboo. I don't know why I went back into that. Let's go ahead and jump right into this. Here we go, baby. The first battle of the WBE. Let us get it. Let us get it. Alright, play online. Let me get my damage calc all set and ready to go. So I don't have none of it ready to go. Let's see what the boy wants to start off with. So we're going to go to Peekaboo, which is our Togepex. We'll start off with this little cutie. It goes into Tracer, which is probably the, the Rebombi. All right, Tokipex, Tokipex. Going to Peekaboo. He goes into Re-Bomb. Um. All right, so it could. Let's see what we want to do here. Let's see. So we do have a little nice, a nice little start off here. He's probably going to go for the sticky webs, if anything. Um, a Toxic would be nice on this thing. Um, I couldn't really see him going into anything else. He's definitely going to get the sticky webs up. I could go into the Zapdos. I could go into Kaminari, the Zapdos, which would have been a nice set off. Go, ah, but then again, I don't have Defog. My only spinner really is... My only spinner really is Hitmonchan, but then if I go into Hitmonchan and he gets the webs up, he's free to go for a Moonblast. Um, I could go for a Toxic right here and just try Toxic whatever wants to really come in. That could be a good set-off. Alright, we'll try that. We'll try Toxic since the Sticky Webs are coming out, which it is. I remember watching his draft analysis thing and um, I knew 100% he went into like, this thing's only here just for Sticky Webs. Like, it literally is here just for Sticky Webs. Alright, so now that thing's to uh, poison, which I like. Which I like. The Crygogonol possibly could come out. I could be really cheeky here uh, and predict maybe a Venusaur coming out because he thinks I might want to go to a Scald or a Slowbro coming out because I might want to go for a Scald. I could then go into Kaminari and get a hit off. Because Moonblast and Bug Buzz really isn't doing too much. So I'm going to go into Kaminari. As he withdraws, go into the Slowbro. Tree Rex, which is the Crook. Oh no, it's this thing. Okay. Now let's go into Venusaur. So again, Air Cutter could be doing a little bit. The Sludge Bomb's going to be hurting a little bit. 
Giga Drain really isn't doing too much to me. Kingdom Power Ice, again, really isn't going to do anything because it's going to Mega. Mega Venusaur. Air Cutter's doing a little bit more. We could go in for Air Cutter. I'm going to drop the Air Cutter. Because hopefully now he may swap. He may swap. Because he... I don't know. He stays in. Alright. So Air Cutter's going to get a decent chunk off here. Kingdom Power Ice, maybe? Kingdom Power Ice, maybe? I didn't really consider that. Alright, takes it halfway. It goes to the Sludge Bomb. That's going to do 33 to 39. That's fine. We have Roost. We have Roost. That's fine. Okay, so again, I'm free to just go for Air Cutter. I think it's going to do a little bit... It may actually kill if we pull off a high roll. Now, he's in a position where... Okay, I could keep the... Um, I could keep the Tree Rex around. Sludge Bomb's his most damaging move. So here, I think he will swap out. Even if he went for, like, Hidden Power Eyes, which... I doubt he's running. Then again, he could be. Hidden Power... Like, Hidden Power Ice is only doing 23, 29 to 34 max. Here, I could take up a good position to go for a Roost. Because I don't think he'll want to stay in. He'll probably go into... Possibly... The Crook? I don't think he wants to stay in. I could roost anyways and see where we're at that. Let's do that. I don't think he'll stay in. 100% don't think he'll stay in. I could have used it as an advantage to try and predict what he was going into. But then again, I can just still chill, go for a roost, get some HP up. So if he does swap out, then I can make my next move from there. I have to remember the sticky webs up, so I do have to go into Hitmonchan to get my rapid spin off. Even if it's sacking off Hitmonchan. I think the major thing for me is the Crygogonal. The Frosties, which is the Crygogonal. It is. Freeze Dry is gonna hurt. Freeze Dry is gonna hurt. So even, let's see, if I went back into Toxapex... Freeze Dry. What am I thinking? Oh, that's because I keep sending them at level 100. Freeze Dry is doing half. See. Mm. Let me see how much to come in. I mean, uh, I think it may kill us. A level 50. Yeah, the freeze dry is doing half. So if I go into. Decidui. Freeze dry is still doing a lot. Ah, uh, the freeze dry is the move that I really dislike. Like, right, Hitmonchan. Hitmonchan's probably my best bet. I'm gonna go into Hitmonchan. So we've seen Sludge Bomb on the Venusaur. I caught in the Sticky Web, that's fine. As it goes for the Freeze Dry. I isn't doing a lot, which is nice. Now, here, I could take up the position, because I think, if honestly, the Slowbro might come out, and I could get rid of the... I could get rid of... I could get rid... He doesn't have... Yeah, I'm going to go for Rapid Spin. I need to get rid of the Sticky Webs. And that's going to force him to bring back Imre Bobby. That's going to force him to take damage from the Toxic. We'll see. 
So he withdrew. Okay, that's fine. Goes back into Tree Rex. Probably going to get for the Synthesis up. Let's get rid of that. Let's go into Mega Venusaur. Again, I really can't do anything to this thing at all. Um, it's probably going to go for Synthesis. And then, if I take this time to go into Mega Gardevoir, he probably thinks I'm going to go... No, he has to go Synthesis. He has to go for Synthesis. That's going to probably put him up half. I could go for the Psy Shock in Mega Gardevoir. I could do that. Even, what if I went into... Nah, Giga Drain. He might even go Giga Drain. I really want to go into a Chaco, because that's going to literally force him to swap. And it doesn't kill me, but that's only guaranteed if he doesn't go for Sludge Bomb this turn. Nah, I think the safest bet is to go back into Kaminari. But the safest bet is to go back into um, Zapdos as he goes for the Synthesis. I do get the pressure off on him. Oh, he goes for Leech Seed. Ooh. Okay. Okay. That's cool. So again, here I could just go... I could go for the air cutter again. It hits everything on his team. It's a safe play. As he probably goes back into the Crygogonal. Let me go Zapdos, Kaminari, and goes. Yeah, because air cutter again is doing some damage here. And then even if he does go Crygogonal, of 50. Thunderbolt would be better. I doubt he's going to stay in. I really doubt he's going to stay in. Should I try and predict to go for the Thunderbolt? Just so I pull off some more damage? But if he goes Crook, then I'm kind of screwed. Go ahead, Cutter. No, he stays in. Can I pull off a crit? No. If he goes for Synthesis... Yeah, it's not enough, is it? It's not enough. He's just going to sit here and keep snapping away at my health. Okay, so, do you reckon he go for Synthesis again? Which I'm going to guess he's going to. Here he's probably going to go Sludge Bomb. So if I go into Garchomp... If I go Garchomp into Mega Venusaur. Earthquake, but if I did Groundium Z. It's gonna hurt somebody. Tectonic Rage is still a two hit KO. Oh my lord. Hmm. Let's go for the Echo one last time. No, he's just going to stay in and go for Synthesis. Okay. I'm going to get back up to full from the Leech Seed. Okay, so... I'm in a little bit of a pickle here, because I just keep doing the same thing over and over again. That, so that really didn't do much for me at all. If anything, I really need to go... Mm. 
I can't take the risk because he's just he might just press synthesis again. So if I went swords dance on my Garchomp. The Giga Drain ain't gonna kill me, is it? The Giga Drain ain't gonna kill me. If he goes Giga Drain, this would take 38% of my health. And 60. I'm gonna go Gotcha. As he goes for the sludge bomb, so that's 18. Ain't gonna do much. Don't poison, which is good. Now, here I could go for the swords dance. He's probably gonna bring in something that may be a little bit faster than me. But then again, like, there's only the crook. I'm pretty sure. Crocodile. If it's the choice scarf variant, then... It will kill me. With two hits. I could set up Stealth Rock. I could Swords Dance. How fast is Rebombi? Oh my lord. Rebombi is absolutely just going to come in and tear through me. Yeah, Rabombi's gonna tear through me, so... I'm gonna go for my Z-Power here. On whatever wants to come in. Nah, I could've pressed Swords Dance here. So this is gonna do, like, maybe just more than half. He's probably gotten Leech Seed. Unless I pull off a Z crit. Nope. As he just goes for the synthesis. He, he needs to keep this thing around, doesn't he? The Rebombi's faster than me anyways, so... I'm gonna click Swords Dance. I think you'll probably think I'll go for an, like, an Earthquake now. As he goes for the Leech Seed. Alright, Earthquake may kill this thing. I think Earthquake will kill this thing. It does set oh, it does 72 to 85. I need to get a max roll here. I need to get like a max roll. Like the only thing you can really do now is even just go for the synthesis. And then the Leech Seed will get him a little bit more HP back. Ah! Almost there as he goes for the sludge bomb. That's fine. Leech seed. I'll get that thing back. Okay, now an earthquake will kill this thing. He's just going to sack this thing off. Possibly. But Rex came in and really did its job because I needed Rex to deal with the Venusaur, if anything. So if he wants to stay in, sack off the Venusaur, then I'm happy with that.
that I'm happy with that. Anything else that he goes into is going to take a plus two earthquake. So, it's, I'm pretty sure it'll body. Like if Crygogonil came in. Oh, snap. He could totally go Crygogonil here, but I... Oh my lord, no. He, his play is Crygogonil. It's got Levitate. But he doesn't know if I'm going for the Dragon Claw. Oh, yikes. I should have gone Dragon Claw. But then again, if he went Rebombi, then I wouldn't be able to hit Rebombi. So his play right here is Crygogonal. Lancer. Oh, the play was Crygogonal, Pat. Leftovers. The Leech Seed. I need to pull off a max roll with uh, with um, Rex. See, I don't know if I'm sacking this thing off. Because I got Venusaur down to a point where I'm happy. It's a one hit. Now, the question is, do I take the risk? It is literally... It's above. It's above. I'm going for it! I'm gonna take a risk! Oh, he withdrew! No! Frosties! No! I should have gone for the Dragon Rage! I mean, for the swap. And then the Leech Seed! Patty, what are you doing? No, dog! And then this thing outspeeds me. Ah, oh, I like that, Pat. I like that. If I would have gone for the Dragon Claw there, dog. I should have. Why didn't I predict that? I knew he wouldn't have just sacked off his slow bro like that. I knew he wouldn't have sacked off his slow bro like that. I would have gone for the Dragon Claw or a plus two. That thing would have been dead. That thing would have been dead. It goes to the Ice Beam. Alright, um, Hitmonchan, Joshua, um, if anything, I think he's gonna go into Venusaur, I think he's gonna be gonna go into Venusaur, Mega Venusaur, it's low, I've got to go Drain Punch. I need to get health back. He withdrew. He goes into Lancer, which is this thing. He's got Regenerator? Oh, no, no. If I go into Decidueye... Uh, slow, bro. What if I went into... Hmm. If I go into Decidueye, Nasty Plot and Baton pass out. Yeah, I could do that. Let's try that. It goes to the Toxic. He's toxic to bow guy. Pat, I can't believe you've done this to your own child. How dare you. How dare you. 
All right, so he's going to swap out. He has to swap out. Has to swap out. The Sidrai is super slow. We're probably going to go into Cry Gorgonel to go for the freaking Ice Beam on me. Or the Freeze Dry. I can't do anything to that thing. So the question is, does he stay in? He'll not stay in because he doesn't want to take the amount of damage I can give to this dude. If I go back into... If I predict the swap into Crygorgonal, I go back into him on Chan. That's going to force him to go back into Slowbro. Then I can force myself back into Kaminari. And then Kaminari can do something. Because he, he'll not want to take a hit. He'll not want to take a hit. He wouldn't go scold here, would you, Pat? You really wouldn't go scold here, would you? Like, because I really need to predict him going back into the Crygorgonal, because I can't do anything to the Crygorgonal. But then if I go into Joshua... Screw it, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Please have swapped out, Pat. I didn't. I just got. Oh, he's running Ice Beam on it. Okay. He's running Ice Beam on this thing. Again, I really can't do anything to it. Um. Kaminari is probably my only best bet to take this thing on. Mega God of War. On to... Um, slow bro. See, I'm only still doing like 50... All right, Ochako, it's your time to come out. It is your time, girl. Oh, he's too toxic in? Are we allowed to do that? I thought it was only one. I thought it was only one. The synchronized, though, I get it on Lancer, so that's fine. But no, I thought it was only one. Must be two. But anyways, we get it off on Pat anyway, so that's good. We're gonna mega evolve. I could go for a wish here because I want to get my HP back on Rex. Because Rex was a good one. Hyper voice will tear through. The Venusaur, the Crook, and the... S not the slow, bro. It's doing half too slow, bro. Even though I could go for a Wish, I still want to get some damage off. So I'm going to Mega and go for a Hyper. He withdrew. He goes in Kecleon. Okay. Let's see how much this is doing. I should have gone for the side shot. Yep, he's probably gonna go for the shadow sneak here or the sucker punch. So if I go back into, if I go into um, Hitmonchan. He's got Drain Punch. He wouldn't go Drain Punch. I'll go back into Hitmonchan. He's going for the Shadow Sneak. I know that. Or the Sucker Punch. Yep. So he's a Ghost Town now. Ooh, yikes. My Map Punch ain't gonna do nothing. So 
so... Nah, he's gonna be able to get two hits off on me. I'm gonna have to go into Tox effects. My team is just getting damaged and damaged. It goes for the Drain Punch. All right, so what's the odds of... He's probably going to go into the slow bro. Or the Cragogonal. Or even the Venusaur for that matter. I just got to press Scold as he withdraws. Goes into this thing. I was going to be able to get him a synthesis. I've got to burn. I have to burn here. Nope. Oh, he's going to be able to get a synthesis off. I have to go into Kaminari. Yep. Ah, that's so annoying. Alright, it's gonna have to be literally... Echo has to kill here. Echo has to kill here. As he withdraws. Goes into Frosties. Crit. Okay, I'll take that. How much is... Mega... Fucking god. Because I really don't want to sack off Rex. I really don't. I feel like Rex can win this for us. If we get rid of the Cry Gogonel. I'm gonna have to go into a Chaco. It's gonna have to be. I need to get my rocks up. I should have got rocks up. It goes to the Ice Beam. Poison. Okay, here I could take a risk. I doubt he's gonna stay in because he knows. He does outspeed me though. So next turn, my Mega Gardevoir is dead. But I really need this thing gone. I could go for a Wish. But then again, this thing outspeeds me every time. It's gonna... Oko my friggin... I have to press Psy Shock. I have to. Unless he just... Yeah, he stays in and lets this thing go down. So Chaco's gonna go down. Unfortunate. Unless I somehow survive this friggin' thing. We pull off two crits, yikes. My bad, Pat. Survive! No, you did, yes. Okay, so at least that thing's gone. So the Crygogonel's dead. The first Pokemon has died, and it literally is this, this game. They're probably gonna get up sticky webs. You may actually get up sticky whips. Yeah, he's gonna. I'm gonna have to go for the wish. Nope, it just straight up just destroys me. Yikes. Okay. I was hoping I could have got something up. This thing's gonna outspeed me. Rabombi's hella fast. Bombi to a Zapdos. I think he outspeeds me. Well, I know he outspeeds me. Sorry. I think he KOs me, right? 
You're doing... No, I KO him. Ah, oh, I need to friggin... I need to roost up. If anything, I need to roost up. If anything here... Nah, he wouldn't go into the Venusaur. He really wouldn't go into the Venusaur. He outspeeds me. Alright, he outspeeds me. He's gonna do Moonblast. So it's 36 to 43. Air could have KOs this thing. He may just go back into the slow, bro. If anything. But I'd sooner kill it. Yeah, I'm gonna kill this thing. Because now his fastest mom's gone. Apart from this thing. So, if I get a KO off on this thing, he does. He goes for the sticky web. Fine, Air could have take care of this thing. Which it does. Okay, dope. Rebombi. So his two fastest mon are dead. Which is good. So now my plan is keep Kaminari in it for his nah. He's got the Venusaur. Oh the Crooker may come out here. And I can't do too much to that thing. I can take that from um Yeah, my decidue I can take it though. But I'd have to stack something off in order to get to it. Which possibly could be Rex. But then again, nah, because Rex outspeeds. Uh, the Kecleon still got Shadow Sneak. Zoop, which is the crook. Is that the Intimidate? That's fine. I'm going to have to stack somebody off here, which is unfortunate. And it's probably going to have to be Rex. Oh, he's going to get the Moxie boost, though. No, he's got the Intimidate. What the hell am I talking about? Yeah, I'm going to sack off Rex. Going to Decidueye. Crook. To knock off. My Rusk will hit him. That's fine. Now I'll go into Bow Guy. Caught in a sticky web. He knows me going into this thing. He must. I must have something up my sleeve. As much as I'd love to go for a nasty plot right here. If I went nasty plot. I think he could be a Joy Scarf. No, still the Kecleon will do some damage. I gotta go Giga Drain. No, he goes knock off. Alright, cool. My berry goes off. It's fine, we live that. Go Giga Drain. Pluff, I need a. <laughs> it wasn't enough! Okay, knockoff's still only doing 59 damage. I could possibly live this. I have to go Giga Drain. I have to. <sighs> this battle's almost been going on for 40 minutes. That's wild. I have to go Giga Drain here. As he goes for the knockoff, please survive, bow guy. Oh, bow guy, no! Oh, I do. Uh, did I sack off Hitmonchan? No, I didn't. Hitman's gonna have to come in and go. Uh, he's gonna probably withdraw. That sucks. But he's choice scarfed into this thing, so Mac Punch. He withdrew. That sucks. Goes into Tree Rex.
I'm gonna have to go into this thing. Um, friggin' Toxapex. It's three versus four right now. Goes to the leech seed. I really can't do too much to this thing. I can't friggin' even poison it. He just sits here and goes for synthesis. Yeah. Mainly way to win this if I go for an ice beam and freeze it. <laughs> That's my only way of literally beating this guy. Freeze it. <laughs> oh my god. Dog, I literally spat out phlegm. I was that excited. Holy crap. No way. <laughs> oh my lord. Pat. Oh my god. If you're watching this back. I'm sorry I called that. Holy crap. That's the only chance I could have had to do some damage to your Venusaur. That's wild. That's actually wild. Okay, so I might be able to go into Kaminari and just start firing off friggin' air cutters and roosts. Don't thaw it out. Don't thaw it out. Oh, he's got HP fire than he might. He did. Oh, really? He thought out the first turn. That's wild. Nah, I think I lost this. I think I lost a clean 4-0 here. He's going to go for the Leech Seed here. Because he knows I'm going to go for the Roost. Unless I go Roost. Nah, I need, I, I've lost. There was no way. With him, if he would have stayed friggin' frozen, then maybe. No, he goes Sludge Bomb. Yeah, I should have got my rocks up. I should have definitely got my rocks up. That was a lesson lear needed to be learned. I should have got my rocks up, which is unfortunate. I did well, I guess. To stay this out, but I should have really gone if I would have gone maybe for the swords dance twice and then gone for earthquake. Well, gone for swords dance first and then gone for earthquake. I might have been able to do something. Yeah, as he goes for leech seed on this thing. But I couldn't pull off the Psy Shock that I wanted to on his Venusaur. So he just sits here in the synthesis. Unfortunately. Yeah, it sucks. Oh, he goes for, he's got Earthquake on this thing. Oh, wow. My only way to win this is to freeze it again. No. Nope. Was to just literally freeze this thing. And then just kept firing off the Ice Beams. But then Leech Seed would have just kept getting him health back, so. I literally could sit here and just keep pressing recover. But. I don't wanna. <laughs> I don't want to. Yeah, it sucks. But, oh well. Let's just play the rest of this game out. I just couldn't break that. <clears throat> Maybe if I would have... See, I don't think he would have choice scarfed the Crygogonal or anything like that. I don't think he would have done that. Because the Crygogonal is pretty fast itself anyways, so... Yep. GG to Pat. A good game, big dog. Unfortunately, you boys take a 4 all loss. It's not the end of the world, because we can- Oh, I survived on three health. Great. 
I would have loved to take at least one Mon with me. I'm just going to go for the Mac Punch. <laughs> nah. Missed the Earthquake. I think I could have definitely played that game a lot more better if I would have literally just Sword Stanced up and take care of the friggin' Mega Venus. So that was my biggest problem. We lost against Patterns, unfortunately, but that was a great game to him. I wish um, he would have stayed frozen so I could have done something. That would have been fun, right? Uh, but great games to Patterns. Make sure to go ahead and check him out, guys. His links is always down below in the description. Uh, I'm excited to be back in the WWE. We might take a loss the first week, but... <clears throat> of course, I, you know, losing to Pat is never, never a worry because Pat is actually like a really good battler. We think we did well to stand alone for the how long that we had our Mons in for like, we didn't lose a Mon up to like 40 minutes into the match and that was wild. So it was just constantly switching. If I would have got my rocks up, which I should have, um, we would have had definitely a, a he would have been less, you know, switching around. I think he would have not switched around as much. So maybe that is something that I should have done. Uh, but unfortunately, that's just the way the cookie crumbles, and that's a mistake on my part. So we learn that for next week, and we take it into next week's battle. So we're going to get up on out, guys. Thank you so much, because I know you've already watched 40 minutes of battling. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you guys are new and you do like Wi-Fi battles on the channel. Be sure to peep the Pokemon Omega Ruby Shiny Lock. Choose my starter that went up as well the other day. And thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to be nice to each other. Don't text and drive, and I'll see you guys back in the next one. Bye!